Buddhism lesson number 4 The Enlightenment of the Bodhisattva What are we going to learn today? Today we are going to learn the lesson The Enlightenment of the Bodhisattva. In this session we are going to talk about how the Bodhisattva attained Buddhahood. Let me explain how we are going to learn this lesson. The lesson will be put out on the following slides. Read it with me. The important points will be in red color. The difficult words are underlined and their meanings will be given at the end of the lesson in purple color. Lesson 4. The Enlightenment of the Bodhisattva Our Bodhisattva meditated by torturing his body. At that time, the five disciples called Kondanja, Vappa, Baddhya, Mahanama and Asaji attended on him. They helped him very happily as they knew that the Bodhisattva was seeking the way of eradicating sorrow. Bodhisattva got pinned apart from villagers and gradually decreased the amount of food taken. After that, he started eating only yams, seeds and leaves from forest and reduced their amounts too. After some time, he became so weak and often became unconscious. The gods thought that he was dead. Some people predicted that he would die soon. Some others believed that he had obtained the arhatship. Finally, the Bodhisattva realized that he can't find the emancipation by not having food and torturing the body. Then he started to eat a small amount of food which he thought is enough for his survival. After that, he started to go on Pindapatha again. Then he decided to follow the middle path. But the five disciples left the Bodhisattva as they did not trust him. They thought that the Bodhisattva had given up all his efforts and he will not be enlightened. After that, Bodhisattva meditated under a banyan tree near the village called Senani. It was a Vesak full moon poya day. A young rich woman called Suchata, who lived in that village, came to offer a kiripitudana to the god in the banyan tree to fulfill her vow. She saw the great figure of the bodhisattva under the banyan tree and offered arms in a golden bowl to the bodhisattva. He bathed from the river Neranjana and had the bowl of milk rice. Afterwards, he put the golden bowl into the river and wished, May this golden bowl float upwards in the river if I will be enlightened. Surprisingly, it floated upstream the river and he realized that he will definitely attain the Buddhahood. In the evening of that day, the Bodhisattva met an ascetic called Sotya, who offered him eight bunches of grass. Bodhisattva sat under the Asatubo tree, spreading the grass offered and meditated the whole night. He made a firm determination not to rise without attaining Buddhahood. The full moon shone brightly. The environment became so fresh with flowers that blossomed with a significant fragrance. The gods started to appear in the sky and exclaimed in one voice, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Bodhisattva practiced the Anapanasati Bhavana and he entered the stages of meditation and he obtained the first, second, third and four dhyanas. First, he obtained the knowledge of recollecting past births. Secondly, he obtained the knowledge of disappearing of beings and reappearing of beings in various forms. Thirdly, he attained the knowledge of the eradication of the defilements. 
This is known as the threefold knowledge. Thus, Bodhisattva at the age of 35 on Vesak full moon Poya day attained the supreme enlightenment and became the Buddha. Difficult words and their meanings. Torturing, causing pain, seeking, trying to find something, eradicating, putting an end to, unconscious, faint, predicted, said what will happen in the future, emancipation, freeing. Survival, continuing to live, upstream, flowing opposite to the real flow, determination, ability to continue doing something, significant, important, recollecting, remembering something, defilement, bad actions. It's time for questions now. Exercise question number 1. Name the five disciples. 2. Who offered milk rice to the Bodhisattva? 3. What did ascetic Sati offer the Bodhisattva? 4. What did the Bodhisattva wish under the Asatubo tree? Question number 5. Why did the Bodhisattva finally give up torturing the body? 6. What path did he follow after that? 7. Why did his five disciples leave him? Check your answers, children. First one, Konnanja, Vappa, Baddhya, Mahanama and Nasaji. Second, Lady Sujata. Third, eight punches of grass. Fourth, he wished not to rise without attaining the Buddhahood. Fifth, he realized that he can't find the truth by torturing the body. Sixth, middle path. Seventh, they lost trust and thought that the Bodhisattva had given up all his efforts. Did you get them correct? Well done. We learned the lesson, the enlightenment of the Bodhisattva today. I have a challenge for you. Try to answer the following question in your mind within 25 seconds. Are you ready? Mention the names of the five chief disciples. Great job children. Please download the student note and complete the exercise. Draw or paste a picture related to the lesson. That is all from me today children. Thank you. Have a nice day.